Hello, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today, we're going to be taking another look at shapes. Specifically shapes in nature, otherwise known as the environment. So, we've talked recently about how you can use shapes to draw people. Every time I draw people, I start with shapes first, and then I add in the details. So, let's think of shapes in nature now, though. What can you think of in nature, outside, that is made up of shapes, if you were to draw it? So the first thing I think of is probably flowers. Flowers have lots of circles, semicircles, ovals. Um, that one seems uh, really obvious. I want you to think about trees now, different kinds of trees. What kind of shapes can you find in trees? Can you think of some? Good, because we are about to draw some. Let's do some drawing. All right, so when I think of shapes, I primarily think of oak trees and pine trees, and they use very different shapes. So oak trees are these kind of trees, kind of your standard cartoon tree. That's an oak tree. Pine tree, they're these kind of trees, they kind of look kind of like jagged A's or something. So really, this one, if you were to draw it, would be made out of a bunch of circles. This one would be made out of a lot of triangles. So let's try to fill a page with oak trees and pine trees and think of different ways you can use triangles and circles to make them. So I'm going to do that on my slightly bigger piece of paper here. Then I'm going to uh, color it in with, uh, with different kinds of greens. I may even add in some yellows or reds or browns, just add a little color, maybe some oranges. But being that uh, right now we're coming close to spring, I'm going to use mostly um, greens. So let's do that real quick and then uh, we'll talk about it. All right, so while I was making this, my plans kind of changed. And that's just part of being an artist. Sometimes inspiration hits you, and while I was making this, inspiration hit me. If you don't know what inspiration is, that's when you get a good idea. So um, I wasn't sure, even when I started drawing this, if I was going to use markers or colored pencils or crayons. And then I decided, uh, when it was time to add colors, that I wanted to add markers, but not just marker. I wanted to do a marker painting. So today, not only are we making trees out of shapes, but we're also going to get to learn about marker painting. Cool thing about Crayola markers, or washable markers in general, it doesn't have to be Crayola specifically, is that if you add water to them, watch this, you can spread the ink and paint with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw your trees and then you're going to trace all of your shapes with whatever colors you want to use then when you're ready you're going to get a clean cup of water a paintbrush and you're going to paint with the marker ink um, if you have a nice uh, sturdy piece of paper that will help by the way I'm using a uh, mixed media paper which works really good uh, watercolor uh, paper also works really good. So I'm going to uh, marker paint this in time lapse uh, to save time on the video. Oh, also, um, I just decided while I was coloring that instead of a blue sky, I wanted a sunset sky. If you want a blue sky, by all means, make a blue sky. That's not a problem. That's just, again, some inspiration that hit me while I was making it. I was like, you know what? I want to see a sunset, so I made one. All right, let's... Uh, uh, finish this up with some time-lapse uh, marker painting and then we'll be done.
And here is my finished shape tree marker painting. And man, I think it turned out really pretty. I hope you guys enjoy making shapes out of trees and then painting them with marker ink. I think you're going to love it. I'll see you guys next time in the art room for more fun with shapes, patterns, textures, line, color, and all that other good stuff.